Okay, so it has been brought to my attention to do a video on why I am reaching out and uncovering this crazy close adoption because you know apparently I had such a great life well not apparently I did and people feel like I'm just doing this out of spite or you know trying to get views and all of this mess I'm sorry but you're incorrect Every person that has ever been adopted or put up for adoption deserves a right to find out where they came from, what what kind of medical problems are running in the family, you know, uh, just to meet new people. And if you have siblings, guess what? They deserve to meet their brother, sister, whatever it may be. They, they deserve that right. Um, your biological parents, it's a 50-50 shot whether they want to meet you or they don't. In my case, it's kind of the later, but, you know, my biological father is still up in the air at the moment. I sent him a message last night, so we'll see what happens. Um, but no, I am not doing this to benefit myself money-wise on YouTube. No, YouTube's just an easier way to broadcast things for the whole world to see. Because I want people to reach out to me and be like, hey, I'm adopted. I want your help. Please, can you help me? And guess what? I won't turn you down. Um... A question was brought up last night during mine and Candace's meeting, which is my biological sister, which is pretty awesome. You know, she, she's had her ups and downs in life, but who hasn't? You know, you can't sit there and judge somebody because of their past. Um, I'm sorry. Nobody's perfect. Nobody. Um, I don't care if you're Jesus. Guess what? man had some times in his life I'm pretty sure I mean nobody is perfect I'm almost certain you can find that in the Bible too that not one person is perfect um don't quote me on that please uh, I don't want y'all bashing me over that uh, I'm just saying I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in there but uh you know she brought up to me you know why were you put up for adoption? Why why were you able to get away from all this negativity in our family? Um, to be honest, I don't have an answer for that. I feel like it was maybe a financial thing. And uh, you're, you're, I really can't hit that, that topic because I don't know an answer for it. I'm sorry. I wish I could. And, you know, I, I wish I was there to be able to protect y'all. I really do. Um, I wish I could just go back in time and pull y'all away with me. I wish I could. I really do. Um, but now, like like I said, you know, I'm, I'm a little late to the party, as my biological Uncle Charles said. You know, I mean, my Uncle Sean said. Ironically, he has the same exact name as me. So we're kind of trying to figure that mess out as well. Just different last names. So everybody's just, I want y'all to understand, I'm not doing this to collect subscribers, collect views. Yeah, that's great to have. I want people to share this. I want people in this world to know that 39 new deaths due to COVID. Fucking great. Excuse my French. Um, I want everybody in this world to know that there is a way to find your biological family. Um, just don't always expect good things out of it. There's just, there's times that you're going to get the worst news humanly possible. And I hate that I'm going through that part. It, it hurts me. It really does. I just don't show it. Um, you can ask my wife, my family. I can hide emotions quite well. Uh, it's just, 
you know, something that I was taught growing up, you know, I mean, I've, I rarely ever cried, I cried when my mother-in-law passed away due to breast cancer, um, you know, I, I wasn't there for all of it, but I did experience a good bit of it, and I'll tell you this, it, watching her suffer like that, you know, it, it hurt me, it did, but whenever she passed away, I, I was there for her last breath, and I'll tell you, it, it hurt me, and I'm not even her son, I'm a son-in-law, so I haven't been there for as long as my wife and my brother-in-law have been. I uh, haven't been there as long as her husband has. So, you know, I didn't know her all that well, but she did take care of me on times. There was times she was there, you know, to help me out and to boost my spirits. Because, I mean, you know, that woman will, she will be brutally honest with you. I tell you what that, yeah, she will set you straight. She's from Louisiana. And all you Louisiana family members, y'all know, um, yeah, y'all are blunt very freaking blunt i thought i was blunt y'all put me to shame but hey you know what apparently most of my family's from louisiana and guess what you guys y'all rock y'all are awesome um i love you all uh candace Teresa, uh sorry robo collar was uh canceling a call for me um I love you both. Uh, y'all are just amazing sisters. I'm glad to have y'all. Um, like I told uh, my Uncle Sean, um, I flat out said, you know, I'm not here for the financial aspect. I don't need any financial help. Um, emotional support that's great to have no matter who you are i don't care if you're the pope you deserve emotional support um but family uh blood is blood i'm sorry you're if you're blood you're I guess you're stuck with me sorry um I, I'm sorry about these videos being all over the place, by the way. It's just how my brain works. I I think a million different things all at once. Uh, I've been told that's a gifted thing to have, but to be honest with you, it's freaking annoying because I can't sit there and say, hold a steady, uh, steady path on one topic. I got to do 15 different topics at once, so I know y'all's brains are like, what the heck is going on? Why can't this guy just stay on one thing? Everything just pops up and I just roll with it. So, long story short, again, I am not here for the monetary value. I'm not here for subscribers. Like I said, it's great to have them. I would be honored if y'all shared my videos. I'd be honored if y'all liked and subscribed to them. Um, that would be great. I want people to know about what the adoption life is about and how how the process works. Uh, there will be videos down the road. Um, explaining the whole process of adoption and how to uncover closed adoptions. I feel like mine was a severe case of a closed adoption. It was well hidden and needless to say, it wasn't hidden enough because whenever I popped in the picture and started helping out, things really started unraveling. And then when a certain person took their DNA, that really opened the door and that's when everything fell into place i'm not going to mention who it was for uh child protective service or uh child protective laws because it was a child that did the dna um by law i cannot say her name or show her picture for you creepers out there who are into that mess um like i said you know so Another another person mentioned a tattoo that I had on my arm. I didn't know that y'all paid that much attention to my videos. I didn't even know y'all saw it. But it says 
uh, what was it? Um, do not give up on life because the journey has just begun. It is on my left arm. So if it was in the window, I'm assuming that y'all possibly saw it. I don't remember. But, uh, and no, I'm not fat. It's just the way my jacket is. I'm actually pretty well fit. Um, so this is that journey that I'm not going to give up on. Um, it is an eye opener. It is, it's a touchy, touchy situation. My adopted parents do not know about this. They never will. Um, I'm pretty sure one of them does because that man sees everything from where he's currently at. We will not touch that topic. Um, needless to say, uh, I, I don't want to crush them. And I feel like that would. They're 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 elderly. They're well no, I wouldn't say elderly. They're they're way up there in age. They're they're very primed. Um I just they don't deserve that. Um I did this out of my own free will. Again, I am an adult. I can do as I please. Uh I'm not here to hurt anybody. Um, I'm just here to get answers and meet new family. And I am super excited to meet my family members. They are just overly welcoming. And I am so appreciative of that. I am so glad to have them in my life. Uh, I love everybody that I'm meeting without a doubt. Um, as y'all can tell, I'm a very affectionate person. I It's just how I am. I'm open. I'm honest. I'm blunt to the point. I don't care if it hurts your feelings, like I told Candace last night. If I gotta hurt some feelings down the road, guess what? I'm doing it without any remorse. Sorry. But, uh, anyways, yeah, that pretty much tops off this video. I know I'm doing a bunch of random videos. I know y'all still waiting to see that email. I'm going to post it on Facebook here sh shortly. I just got to, uh think about doing it because uh yeah it's a touchy situation and uh for all you mothers out there it might hit a nerve to where y'all might go banging on this woman's door and feel free if you want the address i got it i got every family member's address so uh don't think i will not hand them out but it only got it's only for the negative people not you positive ones, because uh, y'all have been very supportive of this whole situation, and y'all have been there for me. I appreciate it. Um, I am so glad that Candace, Teresa, uh, Sean, Charles, um, uh, Carol, Gabriella, um, Sean from the Bartholomew side, um, Dustin, um, I know I'm missing some names, but I love you all. Y'all are awesome. Thank y'all for welcoming me into the, welcoming me into the family. Um, I cannot wait to meet each and every one of y'all. And leave a comment on the bottom if it is okay if I document whenever we meet up. Um, I didn't do last night's because I knew it would be a touchy situation. Um, most of the time, the first visit, I will not document. I'll just do a video later on. Only for the mere fact that uh, I don't want to violate your privacy. Because I don't know how the first visit is going to be. It might just be a really depressing first visit. I'm not sure. Just, uh, yeah, just leave a comment on the bottom or message me on Facebook or text me. Everybody, I believe, has my phone number now. Um, if you don't have it, just message me on Facebook and I will give it to you. Um, other than that, uh... If y'all have any questions or need me to touch a topic, let me know, and I will definitely do that. Uh, other than that, just, uh, I guess, stay tuned for more videos because there's definitely going to be a lot more. And I'm actually at Dollar General right now. I got to get some more Cokes and some more bangs. Uh, I believe I made an order for bangs last night. Can't, yeah, I did. Should be here in the next few days. Can't wait. Uh, I do recommend y'all drinking bang. I actually have one right here that is unopened. Um, it's actually super healthy for you, believe it or not. It, uh, 
tastes great. It doesn't give you the crash that Red Bull does. No, not that I recall. It doesn't do that. But it does help you concentrate, ironically. I haven't had one this morning yet, and I'm about to. I feel like crap. I slept like crap last night. My head was running a million miles an hour, which is so much stuff to think about. And, yeah, it's just... It's crazy. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Bang, obviously. Not just not this particular video. Um, I have a feeling they'll be coming up here shortly. Uh, they actually did send me an email this morning. I haven't read it yet. I have about 3,000 emails I haven't read. <laughs> Pretty sure a lot of y'all have that issue where you just don't feel like reading them. Um, but I did reach out to Bang to sponsor these videos because of the fact that these are very, uh, these are well worth watching if you are adopted and you want to find solutions and answers to your adoption. My cousin Amy will definitely help you out. She helped me out, she's helped other people out. She is very efficient. She's very honest. She's very down to the point. And she is just the sweetest cousin I have ever had. Well, not ever. Um, I just have another cousin that's here in Mississippi. Her name is Jamie. And she is my all-time favorite cousin. Uh, she, uh, yeah, she is. She's my editor as well on some important videos. Um... She's also going to school, so I can only throw so much at her, and she does it for free, and I feel bad for making her do it for free because she's taken away from her free time to do my crap, and pretty soon she's going to start getting paid for it because she is amazing at doing my stuff. Um, so shout out to Jamie, shout out to Amy, shout out to every new family member, welcome why would I say welcome? I'm the one coming into y'all's family. So thank you for welcoming me into the family. And uh, sorry I sound like crap. Uh, like I said, I feel like crap. So stay tuned. There's more videos coming. Peace out, guys.